Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, Volume 4, The Risen Road. The stained, well-thumbed pages filled with traveling advice that seems to be decades out of date. Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road, running parallel to the river Chianthar. The Risen Road provides an overland route all the way from El Torel to Baldur's Gate and has proved tempting to travelers seeking an alternate to the river barges that sail the Chianthar. A portion of the road, approximately halfway between El Torel and Baldur's Gate, has in recent days developed into an enclave for Salune worship, with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has developed alongside the temple and can provide food and shelter to weary travelers. Farther east lies the citadel of Moonrise Town, where a toll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll. However, bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. All right, but that's apparently dated. Yeah, Moonrise was the place that was either attacked or was going to be attacked. A traveler's guide to Baldur's Gate. Variety is the blood of the city itself, for better or worse. The devoted will find a place to worship. The dedicated will find work to be done. And let it be fully understood by any who wish to visit. The criminal enterprises in Baldur's Gate thrive as heartily as the rest. All right, watch out for thieves when we get to Baldur's Gate.